before we do, maybe we should just, so this doesn't happen again, maybe we should have like a code word with each other in case you're uh, taken over by another being or something, your mind is controlled. Uh -huh. Like there's a challenge word and a Ooh. reply. Yeah. And if you don't say that reply, I know you're a bad guy and I kill you. What about like, oct like what about yeah. like Octo and you say Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what about <laughs> Ella and you say Puss. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no fant? Okay. Um how about uh Harry Puss. Dog. Dog. Dog is good. Harry dog. Harry dog is usually yeah, those good where I would go with that. Mm -hmm. What about Smuggling pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm just coming up with the same shit. In the back what happens uh -huh. if the first word is pussy? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggler. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple options okay, there. Good. Basically, if you think your friend is is mind controlled, <laughs> say anything to them, and if they don't say pussy, pussy back, back, kill them. Quick, quick right. point of order. I think if you are charmed or, or controlled in the same way that our friend Caleb was uh, yesterday, I don't believe you'll be able to say that word, right? Right. No, I, I don't definitely think you not. Will. No. I disagree. I was in complete control of my mind and faculties, and I would have known to say pussy smuggler if it was the time to say it. <laughs> <laughs> while they get up, while they climb the rope, I, I'm just gonna say, you guys got it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, fun. bye. I grab Jester by the arm and I ah. pull her across the road a little bit. Okay. What's going on? Uh, where's your thingy, your medallion, your symbol thingy? Your thing, what do you mean? Oh, traveler. it's on my belt. I kind of look at it. What about it? Is that the same one? You glance across the street, and between two of the buildings, there's a hut, like a, like a hut. It's made of stone and like a thatched roof. It looks old and weathered, um, and there is a wooden door, and on the door, you see hanging from a, a metal ring what looks to be, at first glance, it looks almost like a, like, like a meal bell, like a dinner bell type thing, but it's a little like archway <gasps> with a little path running through it with a horizon in the center. <laughs> I take off towards it. I have power of walk behind. Okay. Knock, 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 knock. Hello, 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 hello. Jesus. <laughs> Super dark inside. You just see a little bit of like spackled gray and brown fur and this big kind of cloudy eye glance through the crack and go, Hello? Hello? O M G. <laughs> The eye squints a bit and it kind of rotates and goes to the other eye, which is not as cloudy, and goes, hey, hey, What's that? What do you think it is? What is on your door right here, man? <laughs> the door pulls open, and you see now, hunched down in the doorway, it looks to be an elderly knoll, the hair mostly white and gray, this heavy walking cane, it's a crooked stick on the side. Um, you see, uh, bits of the snout where the fur's got away, uh, kind of fallen out, you can see the kind of Wrinkled skin, some of the spots that are coming through the through the, the bit of the snout. Um, some of the gums are missing teeth and are kind of blackened. It's older and not in the best health, but it but it but it seems to be. And the smell is awful too. It's it's yeah. that would be some stinky breath. Yeah. Some stinky yeah, some health breath. breath. Yeah. No. And so. Uh, uh, Elderly no. <laughs> are you a friend of a traveler? Are you? <laughs> come in, come in. Can I, can I, can I come in? Can I come in? Can I She's also really cool and she also sort of likes the traveler sometimes. You also follow the traveler. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 I, yeah, well, I follow Jester and whoever she follows, I follow. I'm gathering a small army of traveler followers and she is one of them, actually. Sure, come Sweet. on in. He turns around and you walk inside. The in so why uh, you? You come to me, I'll switch you up from me. Are you oh. gonna tell us a story? You kind of, if you have the posture, like you're gonna tell us a ghost story. Like, mostly I want to know, like, like. Where are you from, huh? Um, are you humans here in Soros. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, I kind of, I feel like I'm a, a citizen of the world. 
You know, I know I'm not really from any one place. How did you meet the traveler? When did you find him? When did he come to you? What's your name, friend? What's your name, friend? I asked you five. You did, you really did. did. Yeah, it's Jester after all. What is yours? Korvac. Korvac? Korvac. Korvac. Right, yeah. Yeah. When did you find him? When did he come to you? When did he? What did he say? Oh, you know, uh, like what did he look like? Does he have a, the same cloak that he wears with me, or is that like the only thing? Or sometimes, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, well, you came and find me about a couple years ago. Uh, oh, okay. Just a couple years ago. After my partner was killed by a gloom stalker in the south. Thought it strange that uh, fair folk would visit an old codger like myself, but uh, he took me to pass the time, you know, pissing off folks with pranks. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, pissing off my neighbour Brook Tash. It's a real right prick. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, brought some liveliness back into my life when I was mostly just kind of uh, lonely and. Uh, Promised he'd bring some gifts down the road the more I uh, poked those nearby. <laughs> Did he? Well, no, not yet, you know. I'm just still sowing mischief as much as I can, the old, uh, you know, physicality's breaking down as the years pass on. Okay. You look That's spry, a... totally <laughs> spry. You got really nice ears, and I am a good null ear expert, after all. That's <laughs> um, true. Um, it... <laughs> How did you come to find him, huh? Oh, well, he came to see me when I was really young. Oh, how yeah. long ago? <clears throat> oh, you know, like years ago, like probably, like it must be like... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, maybe, you know? Ah, yeah, 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 you were, did he, right. yeah. Yeah, he was, you know, like my age when he came to see me. <laughs> And then we hung out and we were like best friends hanging out for a long time. And then, you know, he got a little older and I think like more powerful, you know, because he tends to do these sort of things. And then he seemed to come to see me less and less, but he still is, you know, super prevalent in my life and stuff. That's great, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I think I might be one of the originals, you know? I think, like, if we go to this place in like a year, right? I think that I'm probably going to be like, Pretty high up. Well, I, I wouldn't ranks. know about that. I've, I've done quite a few deeds at his name. I mean, do you have like a lot of spells from him? Because, like, I totally do. No, I but I've, I've brought the person back to life. I've shot at least four of the wells of this city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 God. I smell something. When we went down there, I yeah, think that I might know. be. It makes so much more yeah. sense. Yeah. I was like, why does the water smell like this? It's, That's... I think I, I thought it was sewage, and it turns out it is. That's <laughs> the will of the traveler. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> give her <a> dysentery. <laughs> and how do you come to know the traveler? Huh? Oh, you know, we're just starting our relationship. It's still very new. It was really Jester here that uh, yeah. introduced me to him and haven't been visited yet personally. Kind of didn't know if he was real or not until this just happened. So <laughs> mine's a little bit blown, but I'm hopeful, you know? So uh, I'm really excited about this. Uh, Gathering. I don't uh, don't get to meet a lot of other folks, and most just think I'm a bit crazy. You I didn't know? even know there were other people, and then we were in this one place, and I found these tokens that were like his symbol, you know. And I was really? like, Yeah, yeah. So somebody had to have left them there. Oh, so there's got to be a few more of us. Oh, that's gonna be such a good time. I'll be excited. A whoever brings the most people to the thing is going to be the winner. Oh, so you should probably start. Content? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take you, Bill. What are we supposed to bring? Oh. You're supposed to bring as many people as you can. Huh? Oh, there's only a few more months of time. I thought, oh, goodness, I can talk to old Smiley. I mean, I know, I remember. He just said, Undola, more to come. Ah, he's so mysterious. Hey, <laughs> Traveler! 
Are you here right now? Huh? Hey. Do you, what do you want us to do? Will you tell us where we're going? Cause we're, you know, a couple people here now talking about you. Do you hear him? <laughs> good trick, good trick. Yeah, I almost thought he was here. He might be. Uh, it's been months since he made an appearance, so uh, I think that's his way of keeping me on my toes. Eh? I saw him last night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like visually deflates a bit. No. <laughs> Oof. It gets really awkward. The room, the room just gets super tense and quiet. I kind okay. Of back into a pot, and knock it over a little. Oh no, uh, that was probably the pea pot. It was. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. Feeling uncomfortable. Hey, so. You should probably get going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, do you know the spell sending? What? So. It's this spell where you can send people messages. I, I, I don't. Okay, well, I know it. So here's the deal. If I find out the location, I'm going to send you and let you know. Sure, no, tell me more about the great gifts he's giving. <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, I mean, I've known him for a really long time, you know? Like, I'm sure in a couple of years you'll, and have, maybe when we meet in a couple of months, you know, you'll already have some spells. Maybe if you started wearing a cloak like him, you know, he would like it. I draw dicks on things. Oh Reaches back and grabs like one of the blankets from the bed and kind of. <laughs> that is already a huge improvement. <laughs> NPC tells you to leave. You can now see the uh, the, the Noel is like eyeing you up and down very intently, and is like making with a good eye on the left, and is kind of making intense mental notes. Yeah, yeah. Take it in. Take it all in. All right, but we should go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Comes forward. You, just, you see the, the hands touch the back, and for as old as this Noel is, still got some strength in him, and kind of like shoves you back out the side. The front door. <laughs> the door kind of. See I... you in a few months, dear. <laughs> oh. Why does everyone react to me like that? <laughs> I don't know. At You're this so likable. You do notice that Jester's cloak is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. You pat it out. Wow. <laughs> you behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Jesus, it's what? Fight Club. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm going to go to the back of his hut and just draw a giant, like, giant dick <laughs> and like a flaming poo. Alrighty. You know what my mom used to always tell me? No. If you ask, the worst they can do is say no. And that? throw you in an imperial prison, <laughs> and you'll never see your family again. <laughs> That's the worst that could happen. That's the worst they can do. That's happened to at least three of us. <laughs> where are you from? I believe we've asked enough questions of myself. Where are you from? I believe we've asked enough questions of <laughs> myself too. He, uh, he narrows his eyes very intently towards you. <laughs> Have you ever tried baked goods with cinnamon in them? Why do you ask? Because they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. You should try it. Good to know. I will keep this in mind next time I have the option of enjoying this cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the top ten foods. It's really, it's really good it's for you. Plus, yeah, it's yeah. supposed to be really good for your health too. Yeah, it's, it's good. I would like both of you to make deception checks, please. Uh, that's a one, so I'll use this. <laughs> Change that timeline. Way better. Oh Still not great God. with my negative three. My nine for me. Was it? Nine. Nine. Ten. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to let you talk. It's your thing, but <laughs> shit. Deception plus eight. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a couple things. <laughs> we are in silly bed. <laughs> <laughs> One, the warm expression of the queen becomes less warm. Oh. 
and a bit more stone-faced. And specifically in the moment that you concentrate and utilize that fragment of possibility within you, there's a there's a brief. A brief Fire! Fire! Hold on. There is a there is a brief. Just a, a, a slight head turn of acknowledgement towards you and a curious look. I am sorry. We are sorry. We have come to bring you something. We have come to bring you something. We have come a long way. No. No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Just get arrested, man. Just get arrested. You should do it. Oh, Jesus. They've pushed Caduceus onto the ground. Um, Yasha's currently being put into shackles. Please, please, spare us. He's my, he's my husband. You, you have my husband. You're, hold, you're holding my husband. There's no, there's no attention being paid. The Empire is working against you. Wildmount is working against you. And we have brought the proof, if you will allow me to show it to you. The uh, <laughs> Zythir across the way goes, what proof? I need to approach my friend. I mean no harm. I need to remove something from. Make a persuasion check. You have a moment. Anything strange, and I take off your head. Chester, I am coming to you, okay? I am just going to open this bag. Careful, as you reach a lot for of sludge it, in there. You, you hear the sound of many blades being drawn as you reach for the bag, <laughs> echoing through the immense chamber, the bright light bearing down on top of you. You can feel the sweat beads forming and dripping down your forehead and gathering in your brow. I say this as a child of the Empire, connected to inner circles there long ago. And I reach in and grab the dodecahedron. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. And lift it into the air. The minute you pull the dodecahedron out, you hear the clattering of metal. Ting, 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 ting. <gasps> Gasps. If you thought air was escaped from the room before, it is a vacuum now in silence. The thrum of the object in your hand, the light pulsing like the heartbeat since the moment you found it. You see every eye upon you, and the queen, the bright queen herself, Elis Grin, has stepped around the art object, the symbol that sits before her throne and looks down straight into it, her eyes wide. You see tears forming at the corners of her face. I am of the Empire, but I am no friend to the Empire. One of your own came to retrieve this and fell, and I bring it to you. And I set it down in front of Jester, two or three feet in front of her feet, and raise my hands back into the air. The queen takes a step, and another, and another, and approaches, tall, elegant with each step. She approaches, and she's even more imposing, more beautiful and ethereal, the closer she gets to you. And she sets her staff aside and reaches down from the handles, picks it up. You bring us hope. And you have undone one of many great wounds against us today. I have no words. My emotions burn within my chest. If 
if you are no friend to the Empire. You have certainly today become heroes of the dynasty. I'll tell you what, though. For the first time in a very long time, I feel hopeful. You look like you feel hopeful, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't get drunk. Guess what? We're here! But, not need to let you know, she looks a little different. Her name's not. No. Veth. Veth <laughs> is not. That's confusing. <laughs> She still loves you. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. Wow. It's 25, right? You don't have to use all the words, but. <laughs> don't, don't say that. Come on. We're on our way. We're on our way. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Beth is not. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm waiting. <laughs> Beth is here? What? Huh? You're. Are, are, you, are, you, are you being serious? I guess you can't say. Uh, thank you. That's it. What do we call you? Uh, just Shadowhand, or is there another name you prefer? <laughs> Shadowhand Essek Thalis. Essek Thalis. Of Den Thalis? Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Den Thalis is like the most popular one. <laughs> is it uh, impolite, forgive me if it is, to ask how many years you have been through the beacon? Uh, <laughs> Interestingly enough, I, um, while I am consecuted, I have not gone beyond the first life yet. Ah. I am what you would refer to as a prodigy of Dunamancy, and uh, the Den was very kind to accept me uh, for one comparably young as myself. I've only in part way into my second century, so. you be a great honor. This is. Anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll cast Disguise <laughs> Self. On myself, uh, and I will. I will look like Veth Bronato, dark skin, bushy eyebrows, gold band across her hair, long, long dark hair, necklace made of buttons, uh, gray dress, little booties. Um, uh, yeah, uh, some some baubles and trinkets all over. That's it. But you go in first. Yeah, you, you go in really first. good. Okay, okay, set me up. Okay. I walk in. Uh, who's who's there? Guess who it is? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. Are you fucking yeah, that's serious? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's been eating this shirt! <laughs> I don't have a word limit now, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me so sad. <laughs> uh, as soon as you say that, you can skitters back a bit. Uh, oh, I, I, I recognize that voice. Yeah, right. Just like I said, yes, sir. You weren't lying. You were... No, you're not crazy. I swear. Where is she? She is waiting outside the cell. I'm just coming in because I want to let you know, you know, that. As you know, things are a little different than they were before, right? But she still loves you so, 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 so much that we all had to come here for you. We came really far to rescue you because she loves you so much. Okay? Okay. Okay. And just keep an open mind and remember that, you know, sometimes we look different, but in our hearts we're still very much the same. Do you have any food and water? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
yes. I look through my bag. Some stale, busted ass really penicillin <laughs> growing. Yeah, yeah, like, like it's a really crusty. Okay. And it's just scarfing. Okay, well, close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. I'm going in here then. I'm going to walk into the room. Slowly oh, back Oh, God. <laughs> hi, um, hi, hi, sweetie. It's, it's me, uh. Hans Buns. His eyes open and blink and blink and then rubs them. I, I thought the packages were a joke somebody was playing on me. It was. No. Was that really you? It was me. I was trying to um, make sure you were taken care of. I know you're a terrible. Terrible cook and um <laughs> this is compounds, yeah. Uh, where where have you been? Um a lot has happened. Um when we separated that night I I um I was taken and, and terrible things were done to me. And I was changed a bit. It's okay. No, don't, 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 don't touch me. Um, not yet, anyway. I, I'm sorry. I. Um, it's just uh, what you're seeing is is not how I really look. It's an illusion. Um, I look much different, and I'm afraid I. I'd, you're not. You're not. You won't like it, and that's okay. Um, because it's not me, it's what they turned me into. You think that matters? Yes, I do. It matters to me. It's still you, right? It is. And you're alive? I am. That's the best news I've heard in a long time. If I show you, will you um, promise not to laugh or cry or, you know, throw a rock or something? I promise. She's really strong, so if you did, she might just like. I would cut you. Yeah. <laughs> not, I mean, I was going to say, like, restrain. <laughs> Don't, he's my husband. Don't you hurt my friend. She loves you so much. <laughs> okay. Who, who is she? She's my friend. I have a bunch of friends. They're all outside. They're probably poking their heads in right now. They turned me into a monster, honey. And just, I won't always be like this, but You know, Bo made a good suggestion. Maybe, maybe just come over and just, um, just take my hand first. And as he reaches out, there's like a trepidation, almost like he's afraid you'll disappear. Mm -hmm. He touches your fingertips and takes your hand and kind of just runs his fingers over you and so. so a little weird, right? Maybe, but you're warm. Touch, touch my face. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe the touch thing doesn't. Maybe that no, makes no, it even no, creepier no. somehow. No, yeah. And it kind of like <laughs> finds the ears. Oh, and yeah. like, oh, those are long. They're long. They just keep going. Just keep going. It just touches the kind of the nose and the lips and the chin. It's a it's a mess. It's a real it's a nightmare place. This whole area is just just rough. 
Right? It's you, right? It's Vest. It's me. Um, I mean, I think it is. It's me. It's me inside. But it's the wrong body. It's it, it's the wrong body, but it's the right me. So uh, here, I'll just show you, and I'll I'll drop I'll drop the spell. Mm. There's a brief moment where you just hear the breath come. Huh. And you watch him process. I kind of turn around slowly. As you turn around, you feel his hand touch your shoulder and stop you. And it's still you, though, right? Yeah. That's all that matters. It'll take a little getting used to. Uh, I don't even, that's a lot of teeth. It's a lot of teeth, yep. We don't, I mean, you don't, we don't have to kiss or anything. I don't even know how that would work. I mean, you can, I know, I, I know I'm hideous. You don't have to hold back. It's, he it's, just goes in and takes you and wraps his arms around you. <laughs> I'll hug him back, squeeze his little butt. <laughs> I hope you like lavender. <laughs> No words. It just holds you for a minute, two. As the rest of you find yourselves, I uh, grab Ford. Okay, before there. You okay. <laughs> so I'm checking. I'm like, what are you gonna do before we before we close here? I'm just gonna pull him aside for a second. You okay? Yeah. Uh, are you are you are you, are you okay? You all right? Yeah, I'm dandy. Why you ask? Yeah. Just checking. Still your first mate, Captain. Yeah, I appreciate that. Sorry I was a little cagey past, like, you know, a few hours. Campaign. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what exact incident you are apologizing for, but Good. it's all just kind of bow. Good. Okay, okay. How are you doing? Good, I'm still processing. Don't know what we just signed up for, but um, I don't know, kind of excited to see where it leads, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested to explore open waters to be sure. Um, I am concerned, cautiously uh, optimistic, but concerned. We are definitely being watched and we are going to be fed every manner of story and lie and propaganda that these people know and have. And we are somehow supposed to divine the truth from BS. Well, I guess it's a good thing we have some of the best detectives on our side. That's true, I do. Anyway, you got me if you need me. I'm gonna go pass out. Fair enough. You know, it's funny because, like, you know, we read all these books and stuff, and that's not at all the way love is described in the books that we read. You mean the porn books that we read? <laughs> Those? Well, are, are they like porn, though, or are they just like the way relationships are, for real, though? Oh, boy. <laughs> well. Oh, oh, it's it's okay, we don't have to talk about this tonight, so I know everything already, it doesn't matter, and I turn over and no. go. Oh, why did you get me up so early? Are, are you awake? 
Oh. Yes, keep, what? Keep your voice down. Keep what? Are you alright? Yes. But I would be better. I, I need you to trust me. I need you to be my friend. I can't believe that I am saying those words, but I need you to be my friend. Yeah, I've probably said some crazy things to you. I have railed against the elements, but I have also said that I wanted to murder a man. And that falls in line with things that Dairon and you want. I just put everything on the line, my own survival, all of our survival on the line. Because I wanted to see you live, and all of our friends live. A week ago, mm -hmm. killing that man seemed impossible to me. And now it does not. You don't have to convince me of anything, Caleb. I've yeah. been your friend this whole time. Well, last night it seemed like I did. It's whether you believe it that's always been a question mark to me. Do you believe I'm your friend? That's always been the problem, man. I care for you a lot, and I've told you that on more than one occasion. And I'm not sure what it's met with. So do you trust me? Do you trust the rest of us? Or are we just cogs in your overall grand plan? Because that would hurt. I would hurt real bad, man, if that was the case. I think that I have spent so long like this that it is hard maybe for you to tell that I care for you. And I am sorry for anything that I have done in the past that has earned your distrust. Hey, look I at me. I'll, I'll trust you. You do me a favor. You start trusting yourself. Just a little bit. Getting there. Anyway, I respect you greatly. Thank you for your time. You don't have to thank me for my time like you're a social worker and I just give him a hug. Look, you're next to me. We can do it in real life. <laughs> Danke. Yeah, you too. We can do some good. All of us. We can do some good. I think that's the best retribution for Caleb Widowgast. Two pieces of shit like us doing some good. No, don't, don't. I don't smoke. Okay, let's, let's break. Okay. Ready, break. Oh. <laughs> Well-oiled machine. <laughs> he, he walks towards the edge and kind of looks out the door and goes, hey. Come in here a second. I want to talk to you. What do you need? So you said you grew up in the Menagerie Coast, right? Right. Around hoity-toity human folk. Yep. You walk around like you got something to prove? Is that what it looks like? From where I'm standing, yeah. Because I'm going to tell you something. 
They don't matter. Yeah, we got a history. Some of us, we don't let that blood rule us, huh? I know you feel the anger there every now and then, but don't let them define you. What blood are you talking about? What? This blood. He kind of scratches the side of his shoulder and bleeds a bit from his fingernails. They're kind of grimy, and you can see like the coal and dirt and stuff that's under them. The blood that we came from. Don't be ashamed of that. They, uh, don't look unkindly on our kind where you come from. <laughs> don't get too many human folk up north. Look, I don't want to take too much of your time. I'm just saying. You're walking everywhere with your pelvis forward like that and looking to start a fight with anybody that calls you on, well, that attitude, you're gonna end up shivved. I appreciate you looking out. I'm just saying. Don't let any of that bullshit affect you. Just be confident in who you are. Don't try and prove anything. I'm trying not to let the heat get to you in here. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Warsh. Maybe four. Maybe. Um, and you see, turn around as you say hello, um, a female orc. Um, Middle-aged, um, ro rotund in robes, and uh, a heavy shawl on, crazy wild, like, lion mane of hair that goes and covers most of her face, maybe get in front of her eyes. She has uh, what looks to be some sort of long eyepiece, like an eye patch almost, but it's, it's a long tube uh, with like a, a reddish orange glass on the tip. Um, her jaw is a little bit uh, forward set, and you can see one heavy tusk that seems to have curled up and begun to like at least pierce or push into his part of the upper lip where now the, the skin is pushed in. Um, but turns around and kind of looks at you, the one eye here, and lifts up the other piece and kind of, and it slips down a bit and she has to readjust it and it slips down a bit and he goes, takes it off and sets it on the desk nearby. A bunch of papers kind of to the ground as she does it. Turns back, hey, so sorry, so sorry. So, um, <laughs> hi. Well, what's um, hi. what's what's going on? You've uh, hi. Undoubtedly strange. Mm. Of course. What are we doing? A bit, here? bit. It's yeah. Wow. No. Step forward, please. I have uh, I've I've not really had a a chance to to. I uh, mean, okay, okay. Uh, do you wanna? Yeah, do, uh, yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. And she kind of leans forward and like takes your chin and is like looking, like like inspecting a horse you're about to purchase, like opening your mouth and looking at your mm. teeth and your ears, and it's like, fascinating, huh? Jansel, sometimes yeah. she does bite. Uh, okay. I hate that sound. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like it. Oh. <laughs> Lifts your arm and kind of like, uh, moves the wrist. a little. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they come so taut, I didn't know that. All right, all right, okay. okay. Pot, ropey. I like right. to keep it safe. Okay, all right, interesting. <laughs> oh, okay, and uh, how, what, what, what age would you put yourself at? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm 24. All right, okay, so still, still in the prime. Uh, you, you are... Um, I have no such muscles, I do right, not okay. bite. Go and grabs your chin, lifts oh. up a bit. It's okay. Uh, Oh, yes, hygiene's an issue. Not yeah. that I mind horribly, but is there a specific point to this? Just let it happen. Curiosity. Oh. Uh, and kind of like looks inside the, 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 the jacket a bit and says, oh, uh, what are these? And like grabs one of the tomes in the, uh, the pocket. Uh, mm, uh, here, look at this one. <laughs> and I pull out my spell book and hand it over. This one's a little more private. Just Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Practicer of the arcane or just a hobbyist? A little bit of both. Interesting. I, in fact, uh, hoping to possibly, it's not our main purpose for being here today, but further the hobby, always, every day, hoping to further the hobby. Interesting. Now, ah, uh, I'm sorry, you were here looking for the professor, right? Is that you? Are you not she? 
I am the professor. I just hadn't introduced myself oh, yet. I thought it was important that I <laughs> cross that threshold <laughs> as you are a guest yeah. in my chamber here. So. Sir, put two and two together. Fair enough. I, I am Professor Taswako. Taswako. Mm hmm. Uh, I've been uh, one of the, uh, the top researchers, uh, specifically in development of uh, engineering, and uh, most recently, one of the head designers of the Conflict's uh, War Machines. Um, oh. So, I'm real curious what a couple of humans are doing here in the uh, center of the dynasty. Where, where, where are you both from, and, and what are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a very, it's a very unique question that I'd like you both to answer very honestly. Yeah, we're really from the empire. interesting. Yeah. We are from okay. the heart of the empire. Right, right. Isn't that weird? That's very strange, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. very. But you uh. could say, you know, we're um, <laughs> dynasty enthusiasts. Oh, dabbling. You've come to dabble in the dynasty. Yeah. Interesting. We like walking mm -hmm. lines and sometimes crossing them. Okay. Uh, oh, love lost with a dynasty? Have you given up? Are you defectors? Are you, um... Are we, have are we just... given up on the Empire? Yes, yes. We're, uh, here to maybe gain a little bit more favor of the Bright Queen. I think she might want to utilize us as her own war machines, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, double agent, huh? You don't, you don't have to say it out loud, it was mm. super... No, like... that's exactly what a double agent for the Empire would do as well. Mm. So I'm just curious. Um, just checking all the boxes, you know, mm -hmm. looking looking for all the angles. I've been here for a while, and I've gotten where I am today by being very curious. So I'm very curious. You... We're here looking for some potions. This is, yes. um... Hello. We're new to the city, but uh, we're excited to meet its locals. Yes. This is my husband. He's never been here before. Kind of pokes out from his... <laughs> Hi. Do you have any healing potions or any other useful potions for adventurers? Oh, we've got all sorts of useful potions. Look about this side this way. Uh, we've got um, ones for virility, as you say, you got your husband. Uh, we've got ones that give you strength of spirit. We've got ones that give you better dreams, some with shiny hair. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he goes up and starts inspecting one. He was like, these are, these are pretty Poorly made. <laughs> <laughs> What's your distilling process? Just Whoa. out of curiosity. Whoa. Useful. Alchemy Useful. Shade. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you, we, I think we're looking for more of the uh, advanced potions. Uh, and that's well, these are advanced. What you thinking? I, I just. Uh, that think, just seems a little tame for what we're looking for. Yes, not not sort of um, meta medicine, but all actual right, medicine. All right, I know what you're talking. Come this way. Come this way. More behind that counter, shade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> behind the counter stuff. Uh, yes. He pulls out these like two little tiny, tiny glass vials that each have like a chain on the end, uh, with a piece of leather. It looks like it could be like wrapped around uh, a belt loop or something. It's like something a little more wild, you see it, right? Now. These here, these will give you the drive of a fucking rhinoceros, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry, I was laughing because I just used to I got a little spray. <laughs> <laughs> you want more wild, you said, right? Yes, please. Right, yeah. So what happens when you have that? Well, it gets you all worked up and you just go all night long. Oh, oh, so oh it's like specifically for fucking, or is it for oh. anything? Is that not what you're asking about? <laughs> oh, no, I mean, no, we're adventurers, but not that kind, I mean. I think I've steered you. I think I might have steered you in the, uh, the wrong direction. We're not on a sexual journey of awakening or anything. <laughs> yes, it, yes, it goes, can I, can, I, can, I, can I see one of those real fast? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh -oh. I'll give him my uh, magnifying glass. He goes, Check it out. He, he, he grabs and kind of like. Three hours! He <laughs> was like. Thank you. What is it? It's pedal tonic. It's water. Ah, oh, I love this guy. He's the best. <laughs> um, no, thank no. you, uh, Ter Terman. I assume I presume. That's me, I'm Terman. No, thank you. Do you have anything that could heal someone? Or hey, we you got the, some healing potions. You We've with got special powers, perhaps. Yeah, of course. What you think me for? Not just sex power. We've got some! <laughs> <laughs> what you got? 
Fucking god, I just got a chemist with me, so no fucking around oh, anymore. Oh, you got a chemist! <laughs> he kind of glances over and just is like, and just like gets behind you and hides. And he's like, I'll take care of you, baby. <laughs> is that a halfling? Maybe. And a goblin. Yeah. Kinky. No. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she goes, I don't like him. <laughs> hey, Luke. It's the blue lady you met that one time. I'm with your mom and your dad. They love you, they're cool, and okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Two, though. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a good amount. Are you okay, yeah. too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I, I don't know where this is coming from, but I... Wow. Hello? I don't hear you anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you there? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello? What is happening tonight? <laughs> Blue lady? <laughs> Blue lady, I can't hear you in oh, <laughs> 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 He sounds like he's pretty good. Okay. Why did she send you here? Love your enthusiasm. Apparently you have a giant problem. Well, there is a problem, but uh, I do not know if it's necessarily one that you, uh, seven could necessarily. We're giant <laughs> killers. We've killed giants before. We can kill this one. So many giants. That's really? What, that's, that, that's our that, special. That is very difficult to uh, believe. I mean, no offense, but. Uh, Jester, pull out the heart. <laughs> oh boy. And what am I looking at? See this sludgy heart. I see it, yes, you brought it and put it in front of me. It's, it's pretty from big, a isn't it? giant monster. I put it back in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Make an intimidate check. Don't look at it too. <laughs> Very scary, that monster you killed, I guess, maybe. Um, <laughs> and how do you intend to kill these giants, if I might be so curious? How many are there? Are you the leader? He is, he's our well, captain. I mean, he's our no. really strong, he's really our, smart well, captain. someone who's on the chopping block, you ask a lot of questions of the privileged favorites of the Bright Queen. Chopping block, not at all, we are merely awaiting. We, I'm talking about you, friend. You have not done a very good job out here. We're here to fix it for you. I disagree. I would stop but talking if I were you. How many giants have you seen in the past month? Make an intimidation check. 27. Oh, oh, oh. shit! I love you. One. I love you so much. <laughs> the guards actually kind of like look over, like, oh, shit. And he's like, well, th there, there was an unfortunate. Sorry? In, there was an unfortunate incursion uh -huh. um, of what we count to be about seven oh. or eight giants. Um, <laughs> They, we, they, they came down from the mountain without warning, stormed into the middle of our mining encampment, as well as the steelworks, and began to just toss and destroy. We fought back valiantly, lost many men, mm. and uh, escaped with our lives and a, a good amount of our equipment. And what do you we have to show for this encounter? We have sent uh, word to uh, Rosona. How many did you kill? We have not killed any yet because we are My awaiting God, reinforcements. You are wearing a lot of jewelry for someone that does not. I have jewelry. earned this. If you raise your voice one more time, we might just have to take you back with us. <laughs> you don't get to talk anymore. Uh, anybody else point us in the direction of these giants so we can help you keep your job? Uh, something in the mind, something Foreman, like that. Foreman, did you manage to keep any of your workers alive? Yes, there he are many around. not to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I, it, you can point. 
<laughs> he points to the rest of the entire grouping of people around. <laughs> Tell you what. Since my lieutenant over here is tired of hearing you speak, why don't you go find someone that can give us a first-hand account of what happened? Now. <clears throat> and he turns around and walks away. All <laughs> the, the, to the, yeah, I was just saying, I mean, I feel like that counts. The three of us. She thinks you can handle this better than we could, and uh, uh, it, I, I'll tell you what, if you manage to do this and make it under the banner of uh, Den Icosrin, uh, bring me along when you return, and uh, tell her that to her face, and I'll, I'll beat her off with an additional twenty percent, whatever she's paying. I like what you're wearing around your neck. I'll have that. Do we have a deal? I said I'll have that. Make another intimidation check. Oh. <laughs> Sixteen. Ooh. <laughs> Seventeen. Routine. It's like I'm a Toji in the eyes. Mm. They start to go a little cloudy. <laughs> Minder? <do>? Yeah. Passel. <laughs> 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 uh, is it kind of like grass at his necklace? And it's like I, I don't know where the professor found such thugs, but you do not want to mess with Den Hycosrin. You've been out here for an awful long while. You seem to think that you're still in good favor with your Den. Is that appropriate? Make a deception check. Oh, shit. <laughs> 19. 19? Such a long way. Information can get lost so easily. No, you're, you're bluffing. You're bluffing. You, no. Twenty-five percent. The necklace. You'll need it. All right. Let's get started. Let's go. Good luck. You don't need to be wishing us good luck. We walk away. Yeah. Yeah. Let's walk away. Right. Right. Come on, just, Ashley. Just say it's it's so check. terrible. Come on. Yes. It's your specialty. Yeah. Hey, classic. It's your specialty. I rolled a one. Yeah. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> okay. So you guys begin to disperse, and uh, as you guys are quietly stepping forward, what you didn't notice, Yasha, was eating in the hollow by one of these trees as you're stepping by. Appears to be a small, kind of gangly, possibly diseased, like a beaver or wolverine type creature. And you just step on its tail and it attacks your ankle and you kick it off. Off that side. You look back at the rest of the group, you just hear. Get to hide, hide, get down. Just there. I'm waiting for it. And, yeah. and it chucks a large stone that woof, woof, is heading right for Yasha. Okay, okay. Welcome back, Ashley Jones. Hey. <laughs> so as this large stone woof, it hits the ground before you, dirt sprays in your direction. As you try to pull back, it rolls woof, and slams into you, oh. sending you 10 feet back. Your head is ringing from the impact. Uh, Natural 20. Whoa. Natural 20. So it hits you, and as opposed to falling onto your back, you dig in your heels and actually <laughs> grinding back about three feet, you manage to stop the rolling of the boulder in place, and it kind of comes to rest. And that hurt, and you can feel like the blood rushing from your nose, it might be broken. And as you look up over the edge, you can see the giant looking right at you, and its fingers oh, no. curl back, and it kind of backs into the fort. YOLO. Uh, I will cast uh, <laughs> Charm Monster at fifth level and oh, target shit. both of them. Charm Monster to both of them? Yeah. Oh, Which oh, is a nice. wisdom saving throw of 17 and lasts for an hour. But they get, they so get cool. advantage because we're fighting them. Okay. I was thinking about doing it before we were fighting them, but yeah, that should happen. The first one rolled a natural one and a 14. This one does not no? succeed. Wait. This one. Oh boy. Uh, neither of them succeeded. Oh! 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 Oh
we made friends! By we made people. Friends. I, sp- I did spells real good! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, as you leap up on top, with your falchion to one side, you reach your hand out and you watch this kind of sickly green energy gather and then spiral out towards both of them. It wraps into their eyes and their ears and inside their mouth and nose and they kind of inhale the energy. <gasps> and as they do, their physical demeanor goes from defensive to drop to just confuse. Oh, oh, boys, shit. what do you say we play real nice? There is a, uh, a locket. Of a like a platinum chain, it's decently made, um, and a folded letter, and the locket. If you it has it opens up and there's a picture inside. What is the picture? Who is it? Who is it of? Um, on the, I look over her shoulder. Okay. Um, the the letter is not written in common. Do any of you speak under common? Fuck. Uh, give it to me. I will tell you what it says. <laughs> it's a love letter. What is the? Lock it have in it. It's a rickroll. Inside, there is there is a somewhat debaucherous image uh, of a, a, a dark elf woman who's barely covered. Um, uh, it looks like it's it's been very 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 carefully painted by hand. It reads, "My dear, sweet Bodo." Hot stuff. <laughs> We got all the embarrassment. Shit, we need. Keep going. We did it, but triple the embarrassment. <laughs> it is difficult without you at my side these yes. days. <laughs> it goes into a lengthy description no, no, keep of going. their, Don't you like their, their, their toward affair and the importance of keeping it secret. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. What? Nothing. <laughs> we just haven't talked a lot lately. That's all. Yep. Yeah. Seems like Yarnball uh, has uh, got a good, you know, relationship with you. What do you call it? Yarnball. Yep. <laughs> it's a good, good dog, horse, cat. Thought you're being really awkward. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm disarming you're you. You're being so awkward with me. Where? I'm gonna cast Holy Weapon. Let's see how this goes. What does that mean? Okay. What, what does that? that mean? I'm burning a big one. It's a lollipop. It's a it's a lollipop. <laughs> so <laughs> you now now you are our light source. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Um, what are you touching the staff or her fists? Her fists, I believe. Ooh. So as but as, as that, that's yeah the fists. That's cool. As Caduceus reaches out and grabs you. You watch as both of your hands kind of <coughs> begin to give off this del- this divine glow, like a, like, a, like a faint candlelight around you that gets brighter and brighter. Your hands feel warm, almost like you, you place them into a, a hot spring, and you can yeah. see this kind of sparkling sheen across your flesh and every knuckle. Add 2d8 radiant to every attack. What? Oh, to every attack? To yes. every attack. Oh. Oh. You ever, awesome. Yeah, it's concentration for an hour, so you have it an for an hour, hour. <laughs> or until you lose concentration. Or yeah, and there's I can also I've got some other stuff I can do with it too. But that's very nice. That's great. The Kazme's turn you now. As as you strike it, you strike it, and it kind of goes looking towards you, but it's already had a taste. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a Magic Mercer. Uh, it's a twenty-four to hit. On who? On you. Are I unconscious? But, yes. But that's you get natural, isn't that two failed saving throws? Uh, you're unconscious. No, no, no. Unconscious, you're not, you're not, you're not dead. dead. You're, you're, not, dead. you're, not, you're not unconscious, dead. you're not at zero hit points. You're just sleeping. Sorry, okay. Yeah. You just but fell it, asleep. But it is an auto crit. Okay. So can I can I dispel you, that auto crit from where I am? Are you within range of it? I'm within 30 feet of him? No, yes, you can. Then I can dispel that auto crit. No, he'll stop. Yeah, you can. You're just within 30 feet. Okay. Twelve points of piercing damage. Okay. As it pierces in your chest, that would be twenty-four. Here's the big roll. Here's yeah, the that would be twenty-four. And then the necrotic would have been double two. Oh mm-hmm. my god. It's a lot of dice. Yep. Do you guys see that thing where somebody? 22 points of necrotic damage. Yes. Okay. And your maximum hit points is reduced by another 22. <laughs> Sam's the biggest casino. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. So, mark that. <laughs> that would have been another 44 if you hadn't stopped that. Are you alive? Uh, barely. Are okay. his hit points lowered by that much? Yes. Mm-hmm. Reduced by another 22. <laughs> and just putting it out there, you reducing that critical hit what? probably saved his life, because if that attack reduces into maximum hit points, they die. Yeah, I know. Oh. We got to get him off that right away. 
There would have been no death saves. There would have been no death saves. Oh, you what? just almost that? died. Almost died. No death saves. Fuck you. Poor Flat out done. If Caduceus is your best friend, buddy. The spell magic hits, and you see it kind of shrink slightly, uh, but it's still holding. Can I try to use yes. Magician's Judge yes, you can. to dispel yeah, sure. the rest mm-hmm. of it? Yeah. Go ahead and just roll a d20. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Do I add anything to it? I'll tell you this. Natural 20. Whoa! Oh, bish! That's much better. <laughs> Good. So as as Jester diminishes a part of this this portal, leaving it in a somewhat in a somewhat uh, unstable position, Ashley steps forward, holds forth Magician's Judge. <laughs> no, not Yasha. Ashley. <laughs> She's gonna do she breaks too. through the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> It's Ace Ventura out of the. Uh... <laughs> um, you watch as Yasha uh, steps forward, and much like the Eye of Thundera, takes Magician's Judge in front and focuses and concentrates. There's a flash of arcane energy off the runes that doosh, 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 begin to glow and emanate up the front of the blade, and you watch as the light focuses into a singular beam that blasts the center of this. Uh, Jester, seeing this, kind of refocuses her to spell magic, and the, com- the, the combination of the two of you at once causes the rift to. <laughs> And vanish. And then I just start making my way back. Okay, so movement is 510. Making my way back to 45. That's right here, movement. Okay, it's my turn. That uh, no, so I can I move any further? And then uh, you, can, you can bonus action step of the wind if you want. He's got a jellyfish. No, <laughs> I'll just wait. Just wait. wait. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, Yasha, what are you doing? So now, hearing that everybody needs help, I'm like. Oh. So, Ford, you're up. Right. Oh, sorry. Right, okay. it's between me and everything else. Yep. Yeah, as you up against the wall, and you're uh, like holding your shield, like uh, it's trying to snap and push you into the snow. If I leave, it gets an attack of opportunity. It does. What you want to do? I can't leave. I yeah, no. Fuck, I'm gonna stand there and I've been stand stand there. Stand there. <laughs> 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 You fucking clapping! <laughs> so Ford spends his turn trying to hold back the giant snap. Hey, help me! <laughs> Not, you're up, what are you doing? Can I take like a, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, you don't uh, even have the room for it, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> What you doing now? <laughs> We're still not attacking this tortoise, right? What are you doing? Get out of me! Jesus. I mean, it's just as dangerous as you. I am going to use, turn. use all my movement and action to try to physically. Nope, I can't. Yes! Yeah. Small <laughs> green one! Help! I, oh, I want to help Ford! <laughs> But I can't. Sure, I'm gonna run and jump and tackle Ford away from the tortoise, hoping to use shield yes. him with my body. Yes. With your giant goblinoid form. Yes, my three foot body. All right. Oh. I'm gonna tackle oh. Ford away oh. like Mega. a Secret Service person. What are you doing? Protecting the president. Mega strength check. <laughs> You're just gonna hug him and stay there. Ooh, ooh, strength. Check. <laughs> Push against Eight. the wall with your feet. Eight. So you leap and just and just wrap your arms around him, <laughs> and the tortoise goes. <laughs> and you're like they're hiding behind his shield, so there's no, not under a sword shield, this both being pressed up against the wall. In a huff, reach into my component pouch and I pull out the cocoon again, and I say, and I cast Polymorph again on the tortoise. Okay. To turn it into. So it's a 17. Well, let's see if it succeeds first. 17. Fourteen. It's a regular fucking turtle. (laughs) (laughs) So now there's this little turtle on the ground that's going. Up towards Ford, <laughs> it's doing like like the little like turtle like shell bump into your shin. It's still it's still focused. That's so cool. Oh, In your exhaustion, yes, the darkness comes comfortably as the night's rest, and then evening's 
respite. And though you don't awaken, you can feel the thunder. You can feel it roll and vibrate through your body. With each impact, there's a flash of light behind your eyes, like a heartbeat of a dull blue glow. A deafening blast of thunder shakes your eyes awake, and you are soaked, standing on the precipice of a mountain. You can see the heavy clouds before you, with slight little breaches between where moonlight and stars are briefly visible before they are consumed once more by the storm. Arcs of lightning shoot across the Jorha sky. You're cold, shivering, your hair matted over your face, your eyes barely peeking through. Through another arc, you think you see an arm through the clouds. And it's gone. Another flash of light, and you see what looks like a humanoid form reaching from the storm towards you. Your instinct is to turn and run, but you watch as the head kind of turns. Just another flash of light, and it's gone. You sense a presence behind you. What do you do? I turn around and walk towards it. You turn around from the space where you're standing, and the opposite side of this mountain range is just bodies, corpses littered and stretched out before you, dozens and dozens of them. You can't see their faces. You just see folded arms and legs, wounds, and there, standing behind you, it's a shaded figure. And the flash of light behind you emanates and briefly frames the face you see. A familiar male figure, his curved horns back from the front, his wings folded over his shoulders his sly grinning yellow eyes peering at you. He just looks, shakes his head and walks away. Do I recognize any of the bodies? Anything in the bodies, is anything about it familiar to me? You, you go towards the bodies? Yeah. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Saving throw. <laughs> this figure that is familiar to you, but you don't know why or where, <clears throat> causes something in your heart to freeze, and you feel the fear kind of welling up in your throat, this heavy lump that's making it hard to swallow, and you try and take a step, and have to force yourself to move. And you take another step, and you go towards one of the bodies, and you turn it over. And it's Molly Mock. <gasps> and you go look to the left, and you look, and there's Jester. Oh. And you look past that, and you see Caleb. And you start to look around, and everybody is somebody who's crossed your path. Somebody you've let in. You glance up and that figure just keeps walking away, shaking his head. <laughs> you wake up as the heavy thunder rolls through the hall. So, you... Is it still storming outside? Oh yeah, Ooh. very much so. Oh. oh! Oh, there are storm sound effects happening. Oh, Yasha, it's really stormy. Okay, I'm gonna step forward just a little bit and, and 
you know, just so it doesn't scare him off if Can you're you all do here. do something to, like, help her? Give her bravery or something? Can't, can't you do? Yo, you're out of spells, aren't I've you? I've got so okay. a first level <laughs> left. I'm going to just bless you. Okay. I'm just going to cast bless on you. Okay, okay. Just go with that because it's useful. Okay. Just a little Um, I, I'm, I will step out uh, just so I still see them but far enough away where I feel like I have some privacy. You walk out there, cold rain drenching you in an eerily familiar way. Kind of causes you to feel a little bit of a crawling nervousness in your belly as you now begin to sensory like recall. <laughs> the sensory recall of the dream you've just woken up from. You feel the cold rain water soaking into all of your outfit in the back. You step out onto the mountain pass, you glance over your shoulder, and you can just barely see the silhouettes of Jester not in the doorway. You, you see Art. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I don't quite know how to do this, but I'm trying to learn. I feel, and I know that you are trying to communicate with me, but I'm very confused. I don't know what these dreams mean. And I'm, I'm feeling scared. But I, <coughs> I want to be an instrument for you. And you quite literally saved me and I, I, I want to do what I can and do whatever work that needs to be done. Are you there? I don't know if this is the right thing that I'm doing. I feel like I'm talking to nothing. Are you there? You stand there for a moment and see the flashes of light. I think I'm I think I'm most scared because I feel like I did something. I feel like I did something bad. And I don't remember what it is. But I think I'm most nervous about what is to come and if I will continue hurting people. And maybe that's what you've come to help me with. There's no response. Well. I will continue to follow. look for signs, because I think that's what you're supposed to do. I know Jester draws things and draws dicks on things, but that doesn't feel right. I kind of doodle a dick on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Be something different. <laughs> I think I'll sit out here tonight. <coughs> Just in case you come back. And you stay out here. I'm gonna stay outside. Okay. But sleep comes to you. In that sleep, your wrists get cold. 
wrists. It's not the rest of your body, just the wrists. And you try and move your body position. And you kind of glance down and you see irons on your wrist. You have your withered wings draped over each of your shoulders. And you look forward, and all you see is the storm, just roiling clouds. In the next flash of light, you see the clouds part into two pale, glowing eyes open before you. Please, please talk to me. You see no mouth, but with the next roll of thunder, you hear beneath it this brimming, bassy voice, familiar from some of the visions in the past you've experienced. It says, <clears throat> you are still shackled, child. I know. Some reasons I know why. But other reasons I do not. Have I done something terrible? We've all done terrible things. These visions that you're giving me. Where I see my friends. I don't know what that means. You have done terrible things. And you are capable of doing terrible things. <laughs> Your strength is still not wholly your own. You are still shackled, child. Fight against them. Don't let the iron be your strength. How do I fight against it? Struggle. Strength saving throw. Whoa. 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 The chains grow taut, still freezing against your wrists. You pull and you pull, and you can hear the squeaking of iron tensing. I start screaming and pulling as much as I can. Pull and you yell into the storm, the rain smashing into your face, filling your mouth. You scream and you tense and anger as the storm rolls, the lightning flashing heavier out of the eyes, growing brighter. Struggle. Find what gives you your power. Where do you find your strength? I continue to think of I think of Jester, and I think of Bo, and I think of Ford, and Molly Mock, and Caduceus, and Nott, and Caleb, and Zuala, and I just keep pulling and screaming. Yeah, strength saving through with advantage. <laughs> okay, you don't. Oh, I 
I keep rolling. I rolled the same number all three times. 22. The previous weekend of the vines causes the links to pull and stretch, and the metal itself begins to wane and twist. You can see your withered wings begin to feather. <gasps> oh, what? And the binds do not break. And the feathers dissipate. And in that moment of, of sorrow and failure, the voice goes, you grow stronger still. The shackles remain, but they weaken. You know your strength. Use it. And struggle. The storm begins to pull away. The sound of the thunder dissipate. And you fall back into a night's rest. Oh. 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 